Yeah. So, all right. So tell me while I'm pulling this up, you know what I mean? Give me, give me, first of all, what was the intent behind bringing him on? I mean, were you just like, yo, let's just have a conversation or did you like, yo, I want to have a conversation about this and he would be a great person to talk to. No, nah, I mean, he was somebody that I've had on, like he was one of the first people that I had on when I came to Atlanta, but his platform mm -hmm. has grown like tremendously since then. I think when I first met him, he had like 500,000. Now he had like damn near seven, 800,000. If, yeah like and he's just been going crazier you know what i'm saying like going crazy so i was like yo let's let's chop it up again let's have a part two or whatever i was i didn't know what he wanted to talk about um i just know he's a good dude you feel me like he's a good dude like he's a good friend like shit, man he yeah he he's, he's a good dude for sure but you know it's funny bro i guess why you looking for the clip this is mm -hmm. as as cool as he, he as he is and um as much as i can call him a friend this interview still was uncomfortable for me. Why? I don't know, bro. It might be a maturity thing. Cause like I'm openly friends with him, right? But it still was like, it was things he was saying that I just felt uncomfortable with. Like, especially when he was talking about like, um, when he was talking about like, just talking about his sexuality and dating other men, like that shit mm -hmm. really made me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. And, and I was trying not to be uncomfortable cause I, I knew that was probably some immaturity in myself, but it was just something that I just, I just wasn't okay with, and you know what's funny? I'm be, I'm be, uh, I'm being completely transparent here. I play football, like niggas be playing around, or like niggas be goofing off, right? Mm -hmm. And like, it's having a conversation with an actual gay man. They were just like, it just threw me. It just, it just, I just could. It just, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, it just was, it just, it, it just was super uncomfortable. But like, we kick it. Like, that's my dog. You feel me? But it just like, I don't know. Like, when he to start, I guess. I was good with talking about everything, but when he would start talking about like his encounters with other men, it was like mm -hmm. it just was cringy. Like I, it just is like, damn, I can't. Like I don't know. I, and I was like, I wanted to speak on that because like I, I don't know. It just now my see my thing is is that I know that a huge part of my uncomfortability with a lot of uh, of 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 uh, topics with you know alternative sex stuff is. I was raised in a household where I was raised in a family and, and a community that was super like, nah, in any kind of conversation around this, you know, people look at you differently. So a lot of my uncomfortability is the fear of is and now am I going to be gay? Like he talking gay. Is the gay getting off on me? And now I'm going to turn into a gay nigga. And now he's sucking dick in the alley. Hey, like, yo, yo, what the fuck? You went crazy. crazy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. But, but that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the cornerstone. This, this is the cornerstone of my fear. So it's just like, I feel where you're coming from. Like, like it's funny I, because like I grew up in the same household. Like it was like my house. It was crazy. Like my mom said, if you ever think about that shit, you, you can't live with me. She's like, I'm going to love you. But you can't live under my roof. Like from a young, I mean, I can, I mean, from early as I can remember, maybe eight, seven. Like I remember, like, like I used to like probably hold my hand like this sometimes. She used to smack the hell out of my hand. Like, don't you ever like, boy? Like I remember, like, yeah, we ain't play that for real. Like we we did not play that gay shit, boy. We did not play that. So now, even me, like it's like it's dope that I can like I look back on these things and think it's dope because like the fact that I can sit down with a gay man and have these conversations. I'm like, bro, I came a long way. That's growth because, you know, in our community, like in our, <clears throat> I hate to say community now because we talking about a community of people, but where we mm -hmm. come from, that was, that was shunned upon. Like, bro, what you talking right. Like, the hell? Like, yeah. you, you gay. Yeah. But I honestly can say I didn't, I wasn't feeling the way because of what people thought about me because right. I'm good. Like, shit, I ain't gonna right. lie to you. Like, I'm, like, when it comes to that, that's the fart. Like, I'm good. But Fair. it just felt different. It just, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, bro, because, like, I guess when I'm around girls, I can hear them talk about each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about girl on girl, because that's attractive to me. That's sexy. Yeah, when I hear a man talking about his, in a, his encounters with, a, with other men, like, even it was one point where he was, like, he never, he, he had said, this is where I really got uncomfortable. He was, like, he never, um, he never put another man out there, right? And basically, mm -hmm. if you're looking for, if you look, if, if you're trying to holler at me, holler at me. And I'm, like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, it, he's trying to get laced, bro. Like you, you, you will become his dating service, bro. That shit made my skin crawl. I'm not even gonna lie. Well, why? I don't, he wasn't talking to you specifically. He was just like, I don't you know. don't even want, you, you don't even want to be gay adjacent. Like yeah, you know what I, I'm saying? It's <laughs> weird. That's why I said maybe he's immaturity. Cause like I mean, I don't. At the end of the day, I don't care what you do. It just, 
it just I don't know. It just it was so uncomfortable. You know what it is is that, and this is something that I've been worried about is that we have not. It's only uncomfortable because it's not common. Mm. So like, say if you was hanging out with this nigga every day. You be used to it, like all right, hit this nigga with that okay. shit, like you know what I mean. But because it's like you know, we don't talk, you know what I mean. We don't talk about it. We don't be around it. You ain't watching nothing based around it. It still feels foreign when you hear it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And and it's something that I be wondering is like I got friends that are gay. You, know, I even got a, I, I have family members that are gay. And like as much as I love them and like love on them and be like, yo, you know, I love y'all niggas. Like don't even, cause like I, I've told the story a million times. Like my one of my youngest cousins pulled my card like a motherfucker like a few years ago and like you know what i mean i was telling him like we was in a family function and i was telling him like i'm about to leave like yo, i love you cuz and you're like you don't fuck with me like that and i like the fuck and we ended up having this long conversation and he divulged how like my very misogynistic inappropriate at, you know what i mean just the way i was abusive of him when he was younger he thought that was because i knew he was gay and i'm yo, just like not nah, you was just a snitch ass i um <laughs> Like, I don't know, bro. I, I had an experience with like one of my mom's friends, and I almost didn't, I almost didn't like forgive her for it, to be honest, bro. Cause like she had a, uh, I never forget, bro. She had like this. I never had like gay friends ever. Like I never had gay mm -hmm. friends. I never would like never. I but, would like some gay friends. Nah, for sure, for sure. I, I yeah, for I sure. Would, yeah, I, yeah. I would, yo, cause I feel like. But I'm not about to be on here, bro. We ain't about to be on like just looking. Just, oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Listen, like even now, I ain't gonna lie. Like, even now, like I interview Cliff, I interview him. I interview like uh, bro, like my platform ain't, but like uh, it's still proud man. I respect you guys. But look, if you're looking for like a, a safe space to like come get your gay shit off, this ain't man. That. I'm sorry. Like I fuck with a couple of them, but like they, I fuck with them because even the nigga Cliff, I fuck with y'all because like yo, like and this nigga, he he's way he wears woman shit. But it was a mm -hmm. time I wanted an interview. And that nigga came through in a clutch, and it'd it be real niggas that don't even do that. You feel me? So, like, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what you identify as. Like, that don't got shit to do with me. But anyway, go back to the story. One of my mom's friends was is, is gay. And, like, this nigga is, like, an old man. And, like, I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I had to be, like, 17. I don't even know. 18. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. I'm saying 18. Just to, Hopefully, I was 18. Hopefully. But I remember him, like, throwing a pass at me. And I punched this nigga in the mouth. I remember, I swear to God on my life, bro. Like, bro, like, yo, I, yo, I'll never forget this, bro. And I, and I told my mother and like, she was like, it was like, she was just like, oh, okay. Like, oh, that, that's what happened. And I told her I hit, I hit him in his face or whatever. And she was like, okay, well you did good or some shit like that. It just was like, it was like, she didn't react in a way I wanted her to react as my mom's. Like if somebody, if my son come to me and say, uh, one of my friends took a pass on him. What? I'm saying more than okay. Like, Ron, like, I don't know, especially how you, how you raised me as being your son. Like, you raised me as a heterosexual man. And if I ever even had thoughts of being gay, that you would kick me out, right? Like, you raised me that way. So the fact that your friend made a pass at me, right? I did what I had to do that I deemed at that time was right. That probably wasn't right. I probably shouldn't have put my hands on the guy, but it was like, Bro, what? Like, the fuck? So, like, do you feel like she kept having that nigga around after that? I don't know, because by the time, that's why I said I had to, probably was a little older, because I wasn't, like, we got a like, weird relationship. Like, I, by, by that time, I wasn't, like, dependent on my mom's. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was right, 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 on my own. But I remember he picked me up in a car or some shit, because, like, it was a close friend of the family. So I ain't right. I'm not thinking about that. Like, bro, he's a friend of the right. family. And I remember him saying something. I don't, bro. Bro. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to joke so bad. I do, yo. I got a million jokes running through my mind, and I'm just being cool right now. I'm not doing it. I'm just not going to do it. But the point I'm trying to make is she might have distanced herself from that nigga after that. But that's something you and her got to discuss. Like, you know what I mean? And if she didn't, it, it, this sounds like a great conversation piece you know what i mean next time y'all have dinner together or y'all y'all you know it's i wouldn't do it over the phone i just would love to have the fun of having that conversation face to face yeah i uh, think i think you know what's funny i think i think gay men are becoming too comfortable 
all right, break that down. I think because I need to understand. I think gay men are becoming too comfortable because the world is becoming more accepting, and that's good. That you can live in your truth and you can be you unapologetically. Mm -hmm. Unapologetically, mm -hmm. I think we all should be able to do that. But at the end of the mm -hmm. day, we should have some discernment of how we act and which and where we act, right? And it's something that I had a conversation with uh, Big Sexy about, especially like when it comes to like in a public setting. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, this isn't a norm of our world. So you should understand where you are. Read the room a little bit. So Okay, that's the same shit I said about Sexy Red. But now y'all be saying, let the girl do what she want to do. What you say? What, I'm you, like, what you say? No, I'm just saying all of the like the the over the top over sexualization hood rat shit that she be doing. Like yo, like there's a space for that. But it she's in that space. You don't have to. Li that's the difference. She's in that space. You don't have to listen to her. If I'm in, if if I'm if we're if we're sharing the same space, right? And you're just being flamboyant. You're being over the top. That's too much for me. That's what I mean. Like for example, Lizzo, and this this is a conversation I had with uh. With big sexy on a comment on, on a podcast. Lizzo, we know that you love being fat. Okay, be fat. But don't try to don't, like now you're you're coming to a point where you, it's like you're promoting it for us to want to be fat too. And no, like that's not healthy. Like, I like you can love being fat, and I don't want to talk down on you. I'm that's not my job to talk down on you. But when you parade around it so much, I mean, maybe we gotta start telling some facts in it. Like, yo, this is not healthy. No, kids, you you don't want to be like that. This is not normal, guys. Like, not and, and that's not me trying. To, I'm not trying to down her, but it's like it, it it makes me want to tell my truth if she's telling her truth. Okay, so I would say if Lizzo, my my pushback on the Lizzo thing is it's inappropriate to go to a all ages event like a basketball game. Put your ass out. And, I was, was going to get to that. Yeah, that's where I would be like now her being big and promoting her being big and all that i feel like a lot of that is pushback because her comments is probably flooded with a bunch of skinny motherfuckers talking about how she's disgusting and she should kill herself and da, 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 da. so her her you know i mean being front face and presenting about loving her size is her defending her space of of who she is and who she chooses to be so like i'm not knocking her because as a thing i feel like she's only defending something because of something she put out there like if, if i give my opinion on something on the internet and people mm -hmm. then reply to my opinion i mean i have to deal with my actions first i put my opinion on the internet like you're running around eating chip, like like it's just like flamboyant shit. it ain't it, it's not like you're just chilling and we're talking shit about you like you're running around like doing crazy stuff because you know that it's going to it's going to garner attention so when you get the attention you can't cry about it i agree but then where does it stop once we start telling people what's acceptable and what's not as acceptable then it becomes a whole different thing so like yes times have changed and yes now people are being more authentically themselves meaning that who you know however they feel is who they are is what they're going to present so i once again i'm going to say that from my perspective even though it's uncomfortable for me or i feel weird sometimes being out in certain spaces and dudes is going a little over the top but I got to start realizing that, bro, it's a new world out here, man. Do your thing. And guess what? I will remove myself because that's the person I can control. So, like, if I, if it's something that I really feel like is is bugging. Now, if a dude start walking in the room and he getting all up in my face about it, that's when I'm like, all right, bro, you violating. Mm. But if you were with your homies and y'all kicking it and y'all grabbing on each other's butts, or whatever, I'm going to laugh, but I'm going to leave. And I'll be like, y'all gonna let these niggas do what they're going to do. You know what I mean? As long as it's like that. But inclusion includes everybody meaning that like you're gonna have more films and television shows with prominent gay characters and yo that let me tell you something the thing i had to get over the most was me loving uh what is it called uh, uh the, the pink or whatever the name of that tv show was the pink palace or something like that but it was a great show but they had these man-on-man -man sex scenes I just had to get used to it. I had to not saying I had to accept it and be like, yo, I love seeing it. But I had to be like, all right, yo, this is a part of the story. This is this is what the new norm is. Do what you do, my nigga. Like, like, yo, just one of my coworkers years ago, maybe like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, said something to me. And I was like, you know what? I accept that. 
he it was a gay guy and he was talking about like his experience with men and mm -hmm. i'm like bro like i don't have no problem with gay i always said this since i was young i don't really have no problem with gay but like bro what you do bro like keep that to yourself you feel me like like mm -hmm. i don't want to hear all that and he was like okay what's the difference when you and y'all talk about y'all girls and how y'all do that and i'm in and i'm present you don't think that made me feel uncomfortable so y'all could do that but then y'all get upset when i do it and it's like i accept that even though like my side is the norm but on a respect level that's all i'm saying right so it's like if you if you're in my presence and i know that's something that that you're not comfortable with maybe i can be mindful of the conversations that i'm having and that's all i'm saying same vice versa like if you're in my presence and you know that i'm a heterosexual male right you never got no hints of like no weird no well not not weird no i'm sorry you never got no hints of no gay stuff from me right be mindful of the conversation that you have around me as well i think that's just a mutual respect mm -hmm. that's that's all i'm really saying i'm not saying that they shouldn't do it because again they could do what they want that's not mm -hmm. none of my concern or none of my life especially if i'm not in their prep i can exit that but if we're around each other i think we should just have a mutual respect both sides mm -hmm. Were no, definitely, definitely, and then like <clears throat> I think uh, growing in the space as well, being in this entertainment space so long, and having people like Chef Patrick be my homie, and then like him come out to my events and be just completely like a woman, and I'll be like having a like what the fuck, you know what I mean? You just got I've kind of gotten used to it, and I'll be like, yo, I respect it, bro. Do your thing, have fun, and and as long as you just not getting totally drunk and then like you know swinging dick around everywhere, we we should be good. And that's one thing so, that I definitely want to um that i will not be and i think i was talking to big sexy about this again like i don't never want to be somebody that the person that's going to police who you truly are right because if, if 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 you're my friend you should be able to be my friend with no limitations like that's what a friend mm -hmm. is i think right so if i invite you out and i don't know one day you want to wear a dress because you think you 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 like dressing like a girl i don't care that shouldn't dictate how i treat you as a friend because you're still my friend that's a fact, but I feel like you're being exceptionally open for that. But let's get into this big, uh, sexy, big, big, sexy, the clip. Go ahead. <laughs> I saw this clip. And I would just like to say, because this was, I talked to the screen when I saw this. Clip. <laughs> That's good. I really did. I really talked to the screen. And it was like, play that thing. Play it. Did you play the whole thing? <laughs> no, nah, I ain't played the whole thing. All right, all right, go ahead. Unlock. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I've, I, I I say this a lot, is that a lot of people bring their own biases into their conversations. 
And a lot of times they bring themselves into their conversation. So what they are saying that they see in somebody else or what they theorize to be, yeah, that's something you probably went through personally, mm. or that's something that you probably struggle with. But that doesn't mean that that's you know eighty nine percent, seventy percent of men. Out there. <laughs> I was like, hey, Johnny, you know, he, that's a that's a big ass number. That's a large percentage. Um, <clears throat> and and I'm like, as I was talking to the screen, I kept saying that, like, bro, like this is. Yes, this is your opinion, but this is also based on your POV or your personal experiences. And I'm like, the world is much bigger than that particular thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm, I'm like, but I, I, you know, I love the fact that you, you made, you are honest about, yo, you know, becoming friends with somebody in this space. Yo, me and you became friends. I had to, I had to, I had to evolve to a space to learn that this is a norm. Or this hey, is okay. This gotta be cool. This is okay. You know, I wouldn't use the term unlock because it just sent him unlocking something in you. No, when I say I was like, I had to unlock of me being open <laughs> to yeah. gay people. That was crazy. I'm like being open to yeah. gay. Oh, so now you're open to gay people. I'm glad I cleared that up. Like being open to being friends with gay people. <laughs> Like, it was. I looked at that conversation like, oh shit! Like, oh now you over the gay people? Huh? All right, Everybody. please don't. DM I know they was roasting you in the comments. I know they was lighting you up like a Christmas don't, tree. Don't, don't DM me, man. Like, I'm not open to gay people. Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh. Uh, yo, and for clarification, he's not open to a gay relationship or in any intimacy with a man at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, but if y'all want to hang out and, and get some chicken wings and some rice, some fried rice, I, he likes chicken. Wings I don't even think rice. I want teriyaki chicken no more. The way he broke it down, he's like, yeah, some people yeah, just, yeah. just used to chicken and rice. You know what I'm saying? So when we go out of town and we see teriyaki chicken, it's different. We don't know, but we get curious. You know what? You're right. I ain't trying no more new shit. <laughs> I ain't trying no I'm gonna stick with what I know. I'm gonna stick That's, with what I know, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a rat, bro. Like you, you have convinced me that new things are bad. Are bad. Like, you know? No try, nothing new, nigga. But nah, it, it, it was a great overall. Though the conversation was amazing. Shit was fire. Like it mm -hmm. was, it was great. Uh, it's doing good. Um, and I mean, it got the internet. It, it did what it's supposed to do. It got the internet and the frenzy talking shit. I mean.